Good morning. Guess where I am? Whatever craft house. It's Thursday morning in frigid Kansas. With my coffee. And let me just tell you something right now. I have the same coffee maker and the same little pods just taste better here. It's like Christmas morning. And I'm sitting in a rainbow. Look at this Afghan. Let's just talk about this for a moment. Someone that is friends with Meg found this Afghan at a garage sale for a dollar. So I'm gonna put a lot of work into that. So anyway, I'm here and I am going to talk to you today a little about when you do hard things or when you do things that you don't wanna do. Mm -hmm. Let's be more specific. I'm talking about me and um, I made a post yesterday about how hard it is for me to leave home and I thought I'd overcome that some sometimes it's better than others um, I don't travel in December and um, the last trip I had was early November so I've been home for a while so um, I was prepared and I was ready and then the day before creeps up and I start getting wiggly when I say wiggly I just mean like nervous energy, um, everything's under control, everything's planned, everything's ready, but I start thinking. And I was tired, let's just say. When I'm tired and I think, I don't think good thoughts. So um, I would just wanted to share my experience of, um, and I've blogged about this, I've posted about this, um, doing hard things, stretching and comfortable. When it comes to travel, I don't mind traveling. I, once I get on an airplane, I can fall asleep or I do fall asleep before it even takes off. Um, it's just, when I am using my gifts, my talents, my abilities, um, the devil doesn't want me to do that. And I know that. I even tell all the ladies that come to these retreats, be prepared for fiery darts, be prepared for things to happen, for doubt to come in, for colds to, you know, scratchy throats, or sick kids, or broken dishwashers, or I mean, just the minor detail can set us back to the point of, I shouldn't do this. Why am I doing this? I shouldn't go. For me, it's, who do you think I am? Like, how, why am I, you know? I know all the answers of why it happens. I don't know all the answers. I need some coffee. Very cold here. I think it's 12 degrees. So, um, I have to lean into that uncomfortable spot of, I know why it's happening. I know why I'm feeling this way. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and the enemy doesn't want me to. So he's gonna make it uncomfortable. He doesn't want me to come to this rainbow place. He doesn't want me to come and teach and talk about Jesus. He doesn't want me to do that. So he's gonna put all these barriers in my way. Um, so when that happens, because it will happen, and I know that it will happen, um, you have to lean into it, pr press through it um, to get to the other side. So I just want to give you encouragement to don't let fear make your decisions. That's one thing I'm proud that I haven't, um, in all of my traveling and teaching and all the places I go and all the things I do, I don't let fear make my decision, but man, I arm wrestle it all the way up until this point when I'm here and I'm fine. Now, when I get tired, because I'll get tired today, then I'll start, I get to the point where, okay, let's just get this thing going. I can't start thinking about it. I just, then I need to stop, 
put myself down for a nap, wake up, and carry on. So, encouragement for you today that you can do hard things. It's going to be uncomfortable. You might even cry. Um, you need to just stop, readjust your thinking, know why it's happening, and carry on. Yay. Okay, so. I always say when I wake up at the whatever craft house, it's like Christmas morning. Noodle and Emily and Emily Thomas are still sleeping, but when I woke up, Noodle said, good morning, and I said, Merry Christmas. So, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, have a great day. Happy Thursday.